You could be many, many, many other places, but I'm in the house of the Lord. And I've learned and I recognize, Sister Maria, that you get credit whenever you go to the house of the Lord. And I thank God for the credit that I'm getting right now. I'm getting some spiritual credit right now. I believe even when the unsaved man goes into the house of the Lord and he ain't saved, and God said, well, at least you went to church on Sunday. Amen. Well, at least you went to church. But I'm talking to the sanctified folk that went into the house on the Lord on this morning. Now, your mind's already been changed. Your heart's been fixed. Your mind is made up, and you don't care what goes on. You may come hell or high water. I'm going to stay with the Lord. I dare you to look at your neighbor and say, you better stay with the Lord. Y'all sit down. I'm not preaching yet. I'm just talking. I don't know how you can be living in this world in 2020 and not be saved. What do you do when you lay down at night and you've heard the bad news all day and you don't believe in God and you don't believe in praying? Every morning I wake up, I say, Lord, I thank you for another day. You, did, you didn't have to allow me to wake up, but Lord, I thank you for another day. I thank him, Sister Julie. Whenever I see you, I say, Lord, thank you for Sister Julie. She didn't have to be here. They said she wouldn't live past 12, but God, I thank you. All you got to do is look around the room at church. Look at the sisters been delivered from cancer. You ought to have a thank you in your spirit. Look at Mother Muller who said she wouldn't live through the night. You ought to have a thank you in your spirit. Look at my sister who used to pass out every... You ought to have a thank you in your spirit. Because while you're praising God for somebody else, somebody praising God for you. That's what I love about it. That's what I love about Sister Brenda McBride. While she was in a coma for four months, we was here praising the Lord for her. So whenever I took the helicopter ride, somebody was praising the Lord for me. Who are you praising the Lord for today? You got to look past yourself and praise. Y'all ain't feeling this like I'm feeling this. Y'all ain't got the glad glass like I got them. Who are you praising the Lord for? Y'all sit down, I'm going to let that alone. So that allows me to know when David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, that means I'm praising him for me and I'm going to praise him for you too. So whenever I got money in the bank, I'm going to praise him. And when my bank account say negative, I'm going to praise him too. Because while I'm praising, oh, oh. Uh, listen, hey. for some reason we we was in church a little bit ago, and I heard something knock. And Sister Gail went up. I looked at all this. This just happened. Sister Gail went up and looked to the side door, and she was looking for somebody to come in. Maybe somebody needed to come up the ramp and she was going because she heard the knock. I don't know if the ushers heard it. I don't know if the preachers heard it. But I heard the knock. And whenever she got in the door, wasn't nobody there. And the Holy Ghost said, listen, we've been waiting long enough. There's somebody knocking at our door. <laughs> The songwriter said, you ought to let him come on in. Oh, y'all don't want to have church this morning. We used to say, heist up your window. Open up your door. Because Jesus is knocking. If you ain't saved this morning, you ought to hear somebody. If you need a check this morning, you ought to hear it. Six one. Right, I told y'all, sit down, sit down. Hey. I really do got a serious message. But I feel the joy of the Lord here. Yeah, yeah. I, I see the man shouting every day and his, his feet was going like this. And the Lord went up and 
down the side. See, I can't shout like that, but I get happy and excited when I see somebody who know how to put their feet together when they go with the music, and they don't never miss a beat. I enjoy seeing, especially a young man, a young black man who, who has denounced a curse of death on his life. And whenever he get up and praise the Lord, he don't know, he prays to the Lord for future generations. He prays the Lord for his seed to be saved. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I told you, I don't want to bury none of my young men, none of them, not my... Not a one of my young ladies do I want to walk up here over a casket because they was out doing something foolishness. Not only do I speak it, but I praise God for it in advance. Some of y'all ain't going to get y'all blessing because y'all don't know how to praise him on credit. I've learned how to praise God on credit. And while I'm praising the Lord, I hear that knocking. said the joy of the Lord is my strength. I have the joy of the Lord. Amen. Just listen, a quick announcement. We want to continue to pray for those that are sick. Please pray for Minister Cook. Minister Eric Cook, we're praying for him that God would continue to heal and to bless him and to raise him up. One of our classmates, Miss Beth Fettison, this internet thing is, you know, it's something, it's amazing. 